Hello, my name is Brandon Leon, local realtor here in the Rockland area. We are going to be doing a neighborhood tour of Sunset Heights. So we were just at the corner of Whitney and uh, Crest, two main uh, roads here in Rockland. We're heading into this neighborhood. This neighborhood is fantastic. Uh, one of my favorite neighborhoods in Rockland. Now, why do I like this neighborhood so much? Uh, there, there's a lot of character. As you can see, as we're driving through, just entering in, uh, there's uh, kind of a combination of, of you know, you have track homes, of course, but you have some semi-custom homes, custom homes as well. So you're going to see a lot of character, different styles. Every home doesn't look completely the same. You can see some of the yards are larger. Uh, there's there's a quality of, of the way that homeowners are taking care of their yards. You can see as a cut above the rest of some areas. Also, um, the street that we're uh, on Humboldt right here, this street that we're on, all of these properties, or most of them, are, are about an acre. Now, now uh, I want to be clear. These all have views of the valley, of the Sacramento Valley, and, and, and over a view of Rockland. They're amazing. But they're on an acre, um, and the, not that they have huge backyards, uh, but there's a there. This is kind of at the top of the hill, a high, higher point of Rockland. So you can see uh, the the hill, uh, the yards kind of uh, quickly go down from there. That's why the view is so great, um, and, and and the view is is directly overlooking the old uh, Sunset uh, Sunset Whitney Golf Course area, kind of over there, Midas, uh, popular area um, in Rockland. But as you can see. Uh, some large houses so the average size house in this neighborhood you're probably going to get from about 1600 to about 3400 square feet as far as a house is concerned you're going to have you know small lots all the way up to about an acre and it just kind of depends uh, most of the acre lots are with the views um, there there's quite a bit so speaking of overlooking the sunset uh, Whitney uh, golf course that used to be there. It's now actually considered Sunset uh, Whitney Recreation Area and they have a master plan for it. It's actually really really nice. Uh, they are going to be doing everything from having uh, having some actual like kind of a walk area. They're gonna have an adventure park and mountain biking area. They're gonna have a pond. They're gonna have a play structures uh, they're they're gonna have be have a spot to do events. They're gonna have an art walk area. There there's quite a bit. They may even have some uh, some potential opportunities for food or retail uh, and shopping. So it's gonna be really really nice. That, that's close and that's that's a, gonna be a very nice place to go walk to take the family. And that's right down the street from this neighborhood right here. So uh, I really 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 do like this neighborhood uh, quite a bit. And you're going to see there's a lot of different types of homes and different opportunities. These houses were all built in between, um, I'd say, about 1990 to, to 2000. Um, usually kind of early to mid-90s, most of them. Uh, this neighborhood was completed first. You can see the other neighborhood. Uh, first one we were in, uh, Sunset Heights, had mostly uh, tile roofs. And you can see they looked a little bit newer. Some of these will have tile. But some of these will have composition shingle as we get over to the ones that were um, built in the beginning. Lots of trees, mature trees you can see in these neighborhoods. Uh, lots of two and three car garages, good sized lots. Um, you're going to see a lot of solar panels uh, just in the, these areas and Rockland as, as a whole. I don't know how much you've been looking at Rockland, but uh, that is PG&E, so the, the cost of electricity is a little bit higher. So a lot of the larger houses you will see will have solar, and that will make sense uh, for most homeowners. But uh, house prices, there's only 11 houses that have sold in, in this past year, or in 2023, there's, there's uh, 11 houses that have sold. There's one currently active, and the prices are gonna range from about 630,000 on the low end, to 1.1 million. So uh, that's kind of the price range in here. It's, it's going to depend on the size of the house, the lot. There's a lot of pools as well, but a uh, fantastic neighborhood right down the street. You're five minutes away from all the shopping you would need. Whole Foods, Galleria, uh, Nugget, Safeway, uh, there's Save Mart. There's all kinds of shopping. There's all kinds of food places. You are, you are close. You're kind of in the heart. You're close to everything and not too far away. Um, 
what else can I say about this area? Um, don't quote me, but at the time of this video, um, you have to check for yourself, but I believe I believe it's zoned for Cobblestone Elementary, Granite Oaks Middle School, and Rockland High School. So Rockland High School is very highly rated. There are two high schools in Rockland. If you have any questions about this area or would like to see more homes in this area as they come on the market, you're looking on moving to the area, uh, you're coming to visit and you want to see what all of real estate has to offer or city tour, just reach out to me, shoot me a call or a text. My information will be on this video. Or if you uh, like the area and have more questions, just leave a comment uh, down below. My name is Brandon. I'll see you on the next one.